we shooting people or what? No, you only gotta scare them. Pain is scary. Just do it right. Okay, Eddie, I need you to start recording this. Um, we've got, uh, we're gonna do a bit of a series on holotape here for some people that wanted to uh, see what it was like and um, get some tips for our things that they needed to know if they were going to do survival mode um, while wandering the wasteland. So um, we're going to do a, a short series uh, to provide some of these tips and hopefully it'll be helpful for people and it'll help uh, them understand how what they need to do um, to do this make them more successful so one of the things that you really need to pay attention to Ada is um, when in survival mode everything matters right everything that we do it matters and there's some additional restrictions that we have and one of those restrictions that we have is um, well some of the restrictions we have is food water and excuse me and sleeping so right now um, you can see that I am hungry and I need to drink something so um, we're gonna go ahead and start taking care of that now and we will kinda go through uh, some of the things that we do here so we just have a simple water pump and we're, we can take a drink from this and so if you look in the lower left corner there Ada you can see where um, I had a red bar and that takes away some of my action points because of uh, the restriction of drinking the water I was very thirsty so I needed to get a drink of water and I got my water and uh, you can either drink it from the pump or what I do as well is I will um, carry some water with me right now I have 22 purified water uh, I try to if I'm going out and about I try to take 20 with me because you never know what's going to happen you might need to drink more water you may be out and about a bit longer than you need to so I try to carry 20 water with me um, so I have that and now I need to eat the only thing I can do to eat is come in here find some stuff to eat we're gonna try a ribeye steak and you see I feel better but I'm still peckish so I need something else to eat we're gonna eat some uh, blood worm and there we go now my action point bar is fully green so there we go um, we're good to go there um, we also need to sleep uh, sleeping allows us two yeah. things one we have to sleep so uh, well it technically allows us three things so we have to sleep um, usually if we don't sleep we're gonna have ill effects from that and so that's something to keep in mind Ada is those ill effects that we're gonna have if we don't get enough sleep we're gonna start getting uh, feeling fatigue we'll be more susceptible to uh, illnesses and those types of things so we, we have to keep those things in mind um, and it will also um, affect our action points so that's important as well uh, so those things help keep those you know uh, sleeping keeps those things at bay another thing that sleeping does it allows us to um, allows us to save the game so we can only save the game when we sleep so that's that's important to note and then likewise if we have a strong relationship with somebody like Piper where we're romantically involved then when we sleep we're gonna get a an additional buff the lovers embrace um, and that will give us some additional um, experience and some other things uh, while we're under the effects of the lovers embrace so we need to make sure that we sleep as well so let's go ahead and get some uh, uh, we're not going to sleep here. We're going to see if we can't do a little bit of running around and um, we'll do a little bit of running around, see if we can't be tired and help show what that's going to do for us. Um, but what we do is we always make sure at our settlements, we like to make sure that we set up a bed. Um, and so we have some place for us to sleep. So we always have one extra bed than what is needed for the number of people in our settlements. Um, and we use settlements very um, settlements are very helpful and needed so they give us places that we can stock up on our food and our supplies uh, food and our water um, we can sleep and and uh, also maintain our weapons or any of that kind of stuff so we can take care of that here 
So let's talk about what we do for our supply. So here you can see that we've stored some extra meats and, and stuff like that. But another thing that we've done is because water does weigh something and weight is a concern, which we will talk about in one of our other, um, our other hollow tapes. Uh, we'll talk about the weight and how to manage that but water does have a weight it weighs a half a pound and that's uh, something we need to keep in mind we don't want to carry too much because then we'll start hitting our weight restriction so we're going to store water um, and uh, that gives us something to where when we start running low and we need to stock up uh, to go back out we've got water on storage and um, we can kind of pull from that so we have water in here and we've got a little bit of food we've got the death claw steak which helps with our hit points which is another benefit of the food we like to use food instead of the stem packs which we have quite a few stem packs in here but we like to use the food instead of stem packs because if we take a stem pack any drug that we take is going to require us to drink more water so if we take a stem pack let's just uh, demonstrate that here so if I take a stem pack I'm now parched from lack of food so now I have to drink something so um, I'm gonna have to take get one full drink of water to take care of that right now if I was already happen to be um, starting to get thirsty anyway then that effect is going to be even worse I'm gonna have to drink two water so if I'm running around and I have to drink two water just because I have to take a stem pack Likewise, if I eat food after taking some damage, I don't have that restriction of drinking water. Something that you can do um, uh, as a bit of advice if you um, aren't concerned with the food keeping you healthy um, and you're just worried about having food that's going to allow you to maintain um, your, uh, your hunger and your water, uh, a good bit of food is the noodle bowls. Um, a bowl of noodles or noodle cups or whatever they're called uh, because they will feed you plus you get the liquid from it so it helps um, quench your thirst as well so that's a bit of advice that if you want to do those you can craft those and let's see what that takes to craft here uh, wrong one so if we want to do the, the, the noodle cup uh, we need one dirty water and some razor grain that's all we need so if we had some dirty water and some razor grain, we could make ourselves some noodle cups. But I keep all my noodle or all my dirty water. I keep that so I can make uh, squirrel stew because I like to use the squirrel stew to help give me some additional experience. So um, when you're eating, you can see that some of them give you additional uh, benefits, like uh, the red scorpion omelet uh, cures all addictions. These benefits are only going to come into place as long as you um, aren't hungry. If you're hungry and you eat those, you're not going to get these benefits. You're not going to regen health. Uh, as you can see, this also regens 75 uh, hit points, and you're not going to get that additional bonus from it. So some of them just regen hit points. Uh, stuff like roasted ant, I use stuff like that just when I'm hungry because it's I'm not going to get a lot of benefit from it. So... Um, we can eat the roasted blood worms to help with our rad resistance um, instead of taking something like rad x or something like that um, the mylurk we're gonna increase our action points um, so that's always good um, squirrel on a stick is just health um, but the squirrel stew gives us two plus two experience uh, percent experience gain for two hours so I like to save that kind of stuff for that and you can see Stuff like stingwing meat uh, regens quite a bit of uh, hit points, as well as gives us some perception for a certain amount of time. Uh, Yagwai uh, gives us pretty good hit points and also damage resistance. And there's a, a you know a load of others, and you can just kind of go through those and look at them and uh, see what's available there. Um, water is the only thing that's going to quench our thirst. So if we drink. Uh, Nuka Cola or Vim or something like that, beer, any alcohol, those aren't going to help. Uh, they have their own um, problems that come along with them. You can drink uh, Nuka Cola. It's, it shows that it's caffeinated, so if you're a little bit tired, you can drink that and that'll kind of help you um, get by for a little while. Just note that when that, um, when that effect wears off, you're going to be even more tired so that's something to keep in mind as well 
So anytime we take drugs, we're going to have to drink water um, and that kind of stuff. And so some things can be used for as a stopgap, but that's about it. Uh, um, so that's something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead, Ada, and start going through um, how maybe we set up some of our other settlements and some other sleeping options and, and stuff like that. So we can see what we do at other settlements to set up our, our restock supplies and we can also see what we do for our sleeping options so let's go head out and we'll um, show what we're doing at some of the other places okay Ada so here we are at Diamond City so there's times when we might need to come to Diamond City to take care of some things you know maybe buy some supplies or or uh, you know handle some missions or something like that so when we're in Diamond City, there's a couple things you can do for sleeping purposes, right? So we can come to the Dugout Inn, and we can rent a place. I'm not even bothering you, dude. Leave me alone. So you can rent a place to Dugout Inn. costs you 10 caps. You get a room for the night. Uh, you basically get the room for 24 hours, so that's good to note. Um, you get to keep that for 24 hours and, and uh, that kind of stuff. So you can go in there, sleep, uh, even come back as long as you don't hit that 24-hour mark and you're good no, to go on. there um, you know so we got that going for us we've got um, over here let's while we're here we'll talk about um, we have a vendor here where we hey, can Polly. maybe purchase some meat alright so let's right. see what meat we can get from let's Polly see what you got. Uh -huh. all right so what's Polly got she's got bloat fly bloat fly meat well she's already got some cooked ones blood bug meat um, crispy uh, squirrel bits. I don't want the crispy bits. I just want the regular squirrel meat. Uh, mole rat meat. Uh, mongrel dog meat. Mutt chops and squirrel bits. So we're going to buy the squirrel bits because they're hard for me to find. And uh, we'd also be looking for um, radstag if she had it. Uh, radstag is pretty handy to have. Um, but she doesn't have any so that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and buy that and we're good to go. So that's important. We can purchase food if we need to. We can get uh, noodle cups here, so that's always good to note. That's going to quench thirst and hunger. Um, you can purchase home plate, which I did, and home plate is going to just basically just give us a spot where we can come in here, and we can pretty much just use it for sleeping, right? So we can take our, we can go to sleep here and um, save the game, get the rest that we need, whatever you know we might want to do. So we can do that here at um, at home plate. Um, but another tip that somebody had told me about, and that somebody is on a whim seven seven three seven. A tip that she told me about, and I, something I hadn't considered, is if you're far enough in the game uh, and you've gone through the main storyline, you can come up here to Kellogg's place once you've unlocked it you don't have to have the key and you're not breaking and entering anymore you can go in and out of Kellogg's place um, and this gives you a free place to come in and sleep so you can loot the place as much as you want that's no problem but you also have a bed to sleep at too so that's very important when we're talking about beds we talk about sleeping mats uh, or sleeping bags and then also mattresses that you might find on the ground um, the mattresses you find on the ground, you can only sleep in these things for five hours, and during that time, you also have to worry about um, getting parasites. Uh, that's one of the, the kind of the issues with those. So you can get parasites, which will make you sick, and you'll need to take um, antibiotics or see a doctor to get cleaned up. So if you see a bed, even the, with the kind of the dirtier looking mattresses, if you see a bed up here that's up on a bed frame, and the bed frame could just even be boards and, and uh, concrete blocks, which is something that I've seen before, you can um, sleep on those uh, as long as you want. Um, so usually when I sleep, unless I'm just trying to save the game, I'll sleep for an hour. If I'm trying to actually get some rest, I sleep at minimum six hours but I try to get eight hours if I can uh, if I know that I, like right now I don't need a lot of sleep I don't have the icon telling me I'm tired so I would if I wanted to just to kind of hold that off I'd maybe sleep for six hours 
but if I am tired, I'm going to switch it and uh, sleep at least eight hours. If you go too long without sleep, you're going to start suffering some ill effects. Um, some of the effects are actually pretty good. You'll get adrenaline, which will actually be helpful. But then a lot of the other effects, um, uh, when you get start getting tired, you get more susceptible to illnesses and that kind of stuff as well. Um, you start suffering from fatigue, and all of those things are going to give you a negative effect. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So um, you want to try to avoid those and get as much sleep as you can when you can, which is another reason why it's important to have uh, settlements set up to where you can actually sleep at. So we'll, let's go to a, another place. I want to show you a couple other options that you can have when you're running around, um, places that you can sleep and those types of things. So we will meet you there and uh, we'll talk about it then. Your adventures might bring you to Vault 81 and Vault 81 is located here. Um, so your adventures might bring you to Vault 81 and when you first come here uh, you'll need more than likely you'll have a lot to do here and you'll need some place to sleep so there's plenty of places you can sleep here so you have a mattress on the ground and all this kind of stuff right so these places are places that people have made up um, outside and so we have another mattress on the ground here that you can sleep on um, I don't know about these other mattresses, but I have found that, see, this is one of the dirty uh, beds. As long as it's not a mattress and it's an actual bed, I can sleep at this for eight hours. And we'll go ahead and do this. So I can sleep at this for eight hours and I will suffer no ill effects from parasites or anything like that. If I were to try to sleep for even six hours on a bed or on a mattress on the ground, um, see, I was actually tired. So... It was good that I slept there, um, but so you saw that I was tired, and I uh, took care of that, and then I'm also thirsty now, so we can take care of that. Um, as long as it says bed, you're going to be all right. The mattress is on the ground. It's going to actually wake you up after five hours, So, and then likewise, it's going to tell you that about the parasites and all that kind of stuff. So when you're at Vault 81 or just passing by and you need a place to sleep, you can come out here and sleep. Um, if you've done the stuff at Vault 81, you can actually get a room in there and uh, give you some place that you can actually go in and kind of quote unquote call your own and you'll be good to go there. So, um, but this is a nice little spot. You can sleep in this bed and be just fine and even though it looks like it's dirty. So Ada, let's go on to the next place. Okay, Ada, so here we are, we're hungry again. So let's go ahead and take care of some some food. Alright, so, um, we know roasted ant doesn't give us much, so that'll take care of some food. We did get some iguana on a stick. Let's take, okay, so the smaller the food, um, the more you're going to have to eat, but that's fine. They also, um, aren't as useful in healing yourself. So, um, there's two things that you can do for water, right? So we have a water pump here and a water pump here. Um, this one, it's like it's in working order. Um, that one you just get the water from it but this one you can actually drink from it right so um, we get that going for us now if we come over here if we have enough water um, if we have enough water being produced that it's more than what the settlers use you're gonna see the surplus here so if you have uh, enough that you're getting a surplus that surplus is eventually going to go into your um, it's eventually going to go into your workstation, so you can pull that back out, right? And um, what I like to do is I like to store some of this stuff um, at other places. So, like, you can see here that I have, oops, let's look in the metal box. So I have some purified water already stored here. And I got that purified water by... Um, a lot of that purified water you know came from the Bean Town Brewery. I pulled all the bottles out of there that I could get my hands on. And I brought those bottles over and I just sat here at this pump and I just filled them and I filled them and I filled them. So um, you want to pick up all of the bottles that you possibly can 
and um, by doing that that's going to allow you to um, fill up the water and then when you're at the settlement I like to drop them off and so I have um, extras that I can come and pick up and uh, that allows me to pick those up and resupply and that kind of stuff likewise if I had some extra um, food I would also want to put those in my resupply so like uh, here I have some baked bloat fly I've put some extra food in there and uh, makes it so I can stock up when I get here and if you notice I've got myself a bed um, I can come in here and sleep if I need to and what have you so Ada let's go to one more place and we'll kind of show what we got going there as far as supplies go and um, show how we set that up and we'll, we'll uh, kind of go from there okay Ada here we are we're at Starlight Drive-In and you can see I've set it up hey Codsworth how's it going buddy so I've set it up so I have a water pump and I have my bed and I can cook my food and all that kind of stuff but what you can also see is here I have some purified water stored I don't I must have taken all the food out of it but I've stored some purified water and um, uh, so that way I can stock up here but I do have this um, water station here and this is going to uh, give us some purified water let's just check to see if we've gotten any uh, in our workbench all right, so we just come into our aid and there we go we have four purified water let's go ahead and pull those out um, we've got bottle caps we're definitely going to take those because we always want our bottle caps and there we go so we've got some additional water and so now where are we at for water and we're up to 33 that's more water than what we need and um, I do know that I do have a place where um, I don't have any I don't believe I have any water stored um, but you know I might end up running around doing some stuff over there so I'm gonna head over there to make sure that I get uh, that stuff stored in there so let's head that direction okay Ada so I know the last place last time I was here at Green Top Nursery I had taken out all of the water because I needed it so we do have some extra water, and although it was a bit time consuming, we're going to bring this over and drop it off. So um, let's go ahead and transfer over our excess water, and uh, that way we'll have some water here. And if we happen to have some extra food, we'd drop that off. As, oops, we don't want stem packs, we want purified water. So if we happen to have some extra food, we would drop that off as well. But we don't, so I mean we kind of do, but not enough that we can just drop it off. So we'll just drop off the water. Now we have some water there to take care of, and um, as you can see, I am thirsty. But what I want to show, and let's go ahead and get rid of our thirst. But so you can also see that I have some radiation here, and I talked about how different um, drugs and stuff can kind of cause you to need to drink some stuff. So we're gonna take some rat away. So the right away makes you hungry, right? So um, that doesn't do a whole lot of good. But so when I took that right away, it made me hungry, and now I have to eat. So we'll go ahead and do that, and let's take a sting wing, and now we're completely full now. But you can also see where I also have some other ill effects. Let's see what those are. Um, so now I'm suffering from adrenaline right as well and uh, it right away adds fatigue which suppresses immunity so the reason why I have the adrenaline is because the right away gave me fatigue and my immunity has been suppressed it got rid of my rads but um, it has been suppressed and when you're fatigued that's when you start getting the uh, adrenaline the adrenaline does is beneficial um, so you can kind of you know work with that you would get the uh, plus five percent damage so it's beneficial in that regard but that's um, gonna make you tired uh, sooner so let's go ahead and see what happens if we sleep for six hours and see if we get rid of our fatigue and our adrenaline and uh, we'll kind of go from there so we're still under the effects of the fatigue right um, so we still have, uh, oh, now we're under suppressed immunity. See, it put us under suppressed immunity, 
we have an increased chance of getting sick. Once you get to this point, eventually you are going to get sick. <clears throat> so there's no real ill effects now. It's just giving you a warning that it's going to happen. So that's something we need to keep in mind. So we do have a water pump here. Let's see if we have any water in our in our workshop. And uh, we do. We've got some purified water. And we can take that purified water and we can stock it up in here as well. So let's put some more purified water in. And uh, um, you know, that way we don't have to go really looking for it. We know exactly where it's at, right? So there are some purified water out of he out here too that we could probably put in there, and uh, no big deal. Let's go ahead and put those in as well. And uh, this gives us a nice little stash that we can come in and raid when we need to as we're passing through. So, there you go. I think that should handle most everything. Um, in the comments uh, below, make sure that you let me know uh, if you have any additional questions regarding uh, food, eating, or sleeping, eating, and drinking. Uh, when it comes to those things, let me know if you have any additional questions for that. I'll answer those as best I can. Um, I also want to make note, I, earlier I talked about Anna Wim 7737 I will add her stuff to the bottom of this holotape um, with a link to her stuff. Also, um, I want to acknowledge Mark Jackson, who helped me out a lot when I got started. And I'm also going to put a link at the bottom of his holo, uh, this holotape to his channel, um, where you can go check out some of his, his stuff. Um, he has some great videos back when he was... Uh, doing survival play going through uh, a lot of the different stuff so um, go check out some of his fallout videos as well and um, he helped me when I got started and I want to definitely acknowledge him on that and so um, always a good time so uh, I think that's probably everything for me Ada for this trip and we will talk to everybody later bye you may find this hard to believe but all this is for you thank you